Okay, so hi everyone and uh, welcome to this week's webinar uh, with me. Uh, I'm Anders and I work here at MagPlus Support in Stockholm. And this webinar I'll talk about the upcoming 3.5 release uh, that will come out during next week. Uh, we have some cool new things in the MagPlus InDesign plugin that I'm going to show you soon. Uh, but first, let's just go through some other news. <clears throat> uh, let's start with what's new in MagPlus Publish. First of all, uh, at the moment you can build apps for iPad and Android tablets, uh, but upon release 3.5 you will be able to build Kindle Fire apps. And we also now have the build status in MagPlus Publish for your build. So you can see whether or not the build failed or was, or was successful. And we also have made several changes behind the scenes uh, to make the site a lot faster than what it is today. And uh, considering iOS, oh, Android, uh, uh, you can now build uh, full screen MIBs for the most common uh, Android 7 inch and Android 10 inch tablets uh, with our new templates that we will be releasing. And uh, Android now supports even more features as, uh, for example, pop ups and sharing and playlists and more. And uh, we will tell you all about this uh, when we release uh, next week. And iOS. We now have expanded our analytics cap capabilities for localytics and Omniture, and you will uh, we'll, we'll, uh, have an article for you and so you can implement this in your app later on. And we also now have the iPhone template and the reviewer um, should be available in iTunes any day now. Uh, we also have a two beta clients that will release their iPhone apps here next week. We will let you know uh, when they release so that you can check them out to see what they have managed to create with our tools on the iPhone. And for the MagPlus InDesign plugin we have this. First of all we, we divided the plugin into multiple panels uh, to make it um, a little bit cleaner and we also have multi-device export and PDF block export but this is better to show you in real time so let's go out of this and let's go into the plugin instead first of all the 3.5 version of the plugin is installed the same way as um, the old versions were installed so before installing just go into your Adobe InDesign folder and you have the plugins folder there and make sure to remove the old MagPlus folder that was in there before you start uh, you install the new version of the plugin. And after installation you will as usual, usual find a MagPlus folder in your applications folder and inside that folder you will be able to find the MagPlus templates. And as you can see, uh, we now have the Android tablet 1280 times 800, which is basically full screen MIBs uh, for 10 inch and 7 inch Android tablets, uh, the most common sizes. And we also have I Apple iPad, Apple iPad Retina, Apple iPhone now, and uh, Kindle Fire. So, let's go into InDesign. Close this. Here's InDesign. As I said, we now have multiple panels of the plugin in InDesign. We, uh, altogether, we have three panels now. First of all, we have the Mag Plus Settings panel. This is basically uh, for your main settings of your uh, when you're creating with MagPlus. So you have still have the push, uh, push address and you also have the settings for Photoshop and basically the settings that you only make uh, you don't make that often. I'll 
uh, turn off the universal iPad MIP for this one. And as you can see here, there's a new section here called Device Templates. This section is actually used for uh, the multiple export part. Um, as you can see, uh, we have all the devices listed and you can just here are the links to the templates used on the multiple exports but I'll go through this uh, a little bit uh, in depth uh, soon and the next panel we have in the plugin is the Mac plus vertical plugin basically all the settings uh, that is for this specific vertical that you're working on and these are the settings you probably just make for uh, each vertical uh, for example the ID and the name of the vertical and last but not least uh, we have the Mac plus object panel um, we decided that the, this is the panel that you use the most and we want it to be the smallest one and here you can see that uh, you make all the settings for the objects here and as you can see it's the regular object uh, panel that was uh, on the in the old plugin but now it has it separate but you can still move it in and place it underneath like this or place it like this and have them all under the same so it's easier to hide away the plugin when you're not using it so um, multiple export uh, I was talking about a little bit before when I went into the settings and as I said we now have uh, some new settings here that you can make when you do the multiple export uh, from InDesign a multiple, a multiple export basically means that when you export you can also export to other devices as well and uh, we have these devices available today so up on export it will basically create this InDesign document and uh, with uh, for <laughs> based on the template for the device that you uh, you exported for and it will also uh, if you choose it export the vertical uh, right away so here under the Mag Plus settings, you can first of all you can connect the templates for each device that you're using. These are default uh, set to the templates that are listed here under Applications. Here in, uh, under the Mag Plus folder, you have the templates here. So it's by default it's list uh, it's linked to these templates but you can of course go in and put in update these templates if you want to and uh, have a, uh, have certain objects being in all the templates that you export and we also have the links to the TOC template that we're using so let you let me show you how to actually use this so I've made all the settings needed right here. So next I'll close this one. And I'll close the Mac Plus settings because I've made all the settings I need in this one. And here uh, it's important. Uh, this is the Mac Plus vertical. So let's say I'm happy with this basic vertical that I have here. I have uh, some text on the A layer and I also have a background image and I've got uh, a pinned object here that will move with the device I can show you here as you can see we got pinning and we have regular pinning here and a regular main background image that we're using let's open this one here so here when you have decided to that you're done with this vertical and that you want to export it we now have you still have the old options here to export as usual but 
now we have the more devices button which makes it possible to you to for you to export to other devices as well so if I go in here you will see that I've selected to export to all of these devices I can uncheck these and what this means is that up on export um, new InDesign documents will be created for each of these devices so here I've decided to export to all these uh, Retina, iPhone, and Kindle Fire, and Android tablet. So, and I also selected, I wanted it to be exported by scale. So it, basically it will scale down the design I have here to fit the new device. What's really important before you start exporting is that you made all the that you've saved the InDesign document in the correct place because the the new InDesign document will be saved based on where you saved the InDesign document, the original that you're using. So I'm creating for Apple iPad. This device uh, uh, template is for Apple iPad. So I'll go in here. I have my magazine folder here. And inside a folder, I have my issue folder for issue 01. And for this one, just to make it clean, I created one folder for the exported verticals and one folder for the InDesign files. And let's go into the InDesign files folder. And here I created a folder for my Apple iPad. The reason for why I saved it like this is because I've saved my Apple iPad uh, all my InDesign documents for the Apple iPad I will save in this folder and this is because when I export all the other templates uh, will be created as folders here lined up uh, in the InDesign files folder so it jumps up one level and creates the folders so I save the fol uh, save the InDesign file here Place it, and uh, next step I need to make is where to actually save my exported verticals. So I'll go in here and to where I, as usual, uh, select my issue folder, and I want it to be in my issue folder, magazine folder. And here I have my exported verticals folder. And I create a folder here called Apple iPad that I want to save my verticals for this uh, specific uh, document. And what will happen is that uh, the plugin will create folders outside here uh, when it exports for the other devices as well. So let's just choose that one. So first, let's do an export of the InDesign files. As you can see, the plugin now starts uh, to actually what it's doing is that it's uh, creating the InDesign files and uh, scaling uh, all the objects down to the correct size for uh, the device that you're using. So here we have the report of the export, and as you can see, the, all the InDesign files were created. It has an OK next to it. None of the verticals were created. Uh, that's because I never chose to actually export the verticals. And now let's go into my magazine folder and see what we've got. So I have my issue folder here and my InDesign files folder. And as you can see, all the other uh, devices uh, folders have been created here. And I have the Apple iPad, Apple iPad Retina here as well. So let's see what it actually made. Uh, let's go in here to the Android tablet uh, InDesign document that was created. So this is the Android tablet template uh, for the 10 and 7 inch. And if we Look here, here we have the device here. As you can see, uh, the plugin wasn't 
really I need to make a few changes here to make it fit the, the device as I want to. Probably just the text size here. There we go. Let me fit there. And I'll just move the A layer a little bit. And now my design is ready for Android. And as you can see, it kept all the settings I um, have for all the objects and put them on the correct, uh, correct layers for this device. And it, as you can see, it's kept the pinning. And uh, here we have the pinning as well. And I put it on the correct layer. And when it exports, it will export the clickable areas and uh, the settings of those clickable areas and the media areas as well. It won't uh, duplicate media files. Uh, it will basically just uh, uh, keep the same path uh, for the other devices. So it won't make any new copies of unnecessary copies of media files or anything. So don't worry about that. Um, so um, as I said, here's my design, and it's ready for uh, Android. Easy. Um, we can go in and check the other devices as well. Um, Kindle Fire. Let's see what happened there. Here we have the Kindle Fire template. And let's have the template here. Portrait. Let's put it there. And make the changes to make it fit uh, this one. So, this basically means that uh, it will simplify the process of exporting to other devices. Uh, even though the uh, design might not be perfect for uh, right away for the new device, uh, it still gives you, as you can see, I just need to move a few things around to make it look good uh, on this new device. And it's keeping all the... Uh, all the options, all the settings for the object. So it's not a lot of work to actually create uh, a MIB uh, for a new device now. Um, but let's say, for example, I'm creating for Apple iPad now. And let's say I want this one to, when I export for regular Apple iPad, I want it to export the MIBs to Apple iPad Retina as well because it actually has the same, everything's the same. Um, the only time you wouldn't export uh, to Apple iPad and Apple, App, Apple iPad Retina at the same time would be if you, for example, had uh, an HD movie that you wanted to, to be in higher res in Retina and uh, or maybe HTML uh, documents. So in that case you would only export the InDesign files for the Apple iPad Retina, make the changes for the movies and just export uh, from that new document. So let's say I want to export the vertical for the Apple iPad and the Apple iPad Retina right away. So I select here under V means export issue vertical. So now it will create the InDesign file and it will also create the verticals when I export. And also uh, select this button as well. Uh, oh, it means that it will open the document after export. That. And let's see what it does now. As you remember, I pointed the issue folder. I pointed it to uh, my issue and I have a folder for my exported verticals here and I pointed it to the Apple iPad here and let's do an export and we can actually go in here and see what it does now it's opening Photoshop to downsize uh, to resize the images and I hope Finder will soon First it's uh, doing the Apple iPad. And now it's starting to do the Apple iPad Retina export as well. As you can see, it created a folder for the Apple iPad Retina. And you can see how the verticals are updating. So now I've 
exported to Apple iPad Retina and Apple iPad 1. It's just one click, which makes it a lot easier uh, than it was before. And so this will speed up the process a lot. And as you can see here in the report I got from InDesign, everything went well. The InDesign file was created and uh, the verticals was uh, the vertical were created as well. And as you can see here, after export, the Retina InDesign file was opened automatically in InDesign. And uh, so I can have a look at it. And for example, if this was, uh, I wanted to add movies or HTML to this one, I could do it here uh, right away instead of going into Finder to do it. And the last thing I want to show you with this multiple export thing is uh, we have the export rule, we have scaling, and then we also have uh, center as well. Scaling means that it will basically uh, uh, yeah, scale down the objects to fit the new device, as I said before. And center means that it won't touch the objects at all. We'll, we'll just make sure that uh, the uh, um, objects are centered on the device like this. So let's do an export here and uh, let's open the InDesign file after export. So O means that I'll open it and let's do an export for devices now. As you can see exporting for Android tablet and everything is fine. The Android tablet InDesign file is OK. And here we have the new InDesign file that was created for Android. And as you can see, it just simply placed the object uh, on this device. So I can just go and do something like this. And it will fit the new device. Maybe something. Yeah. But we hope that these uh, export rules will help you uh, when you export for the different devices to make it easier for you to go in and make the changes. Um, for example, for Apple iPhone, uh, um, it will scale down the images a lot uh, to make it fit the iPhone. But it will definitely make it easier for you to uh, design for all the devices that you're using. Um, I think that's it about the multiple exports so far. Uh, Mike will have a walkthrough, uh, make a video about this uh, upon release to make go into depth on how to use this even more. And uh, the last thing I'll show you today is how to use the new um, feature that we call PDF export or uh, PDF object export. Basically what this means is that you can select an object to be exported as a PDF instead of a regular, regular PNG and JPEG images. So if you go in here to my exported verticals, as you know you can go into the exported verticals folder and you click on the verticals folder inside here and you will be able to see all the assets and the XML that, uh, that were created for this one. As you can see, the main background image, uh, the main background layer, B layer, uh, it's created as a JPEG image. And we all have all these PNG images here uh, on the other layers. And with this new feature, I'm able to select that I want to export some images as um, PDF instead of JPEG uh, or PNGs. Uh, this will make the images have a high resolution and uh, basically scalable on the devices and, and so let's see here uh, how we can use this um, I'm actually going to I think I'll put in 
let's start off we open a new document here so I'll go into applications and select my template here and what I'll do is that I'll select the Apple Mac OS template and also what's new with the um, plugin that I haven't told you is that we have noticed that some clients um, sometimes use the wrong, wrong device settings here for each template so we actually made it um, uh, not possible for the user to change the device here for the templates so if you're designing using the Android template uh, you're not able to change to Apple iPad just to make it uh, safer for you when you work. Oh, now I closed the box that I was supposed to use. So, I want to put in an image here. Uh, yeah. Let's put in uh, this image uh, here. So, this one, I'm selecting it to be a, reg a regular block and this one I want this to be a I change the object type here and I'll go down and set it to PDF instead now this means that this image here will be exported as a PDF while the other image will be exported as a, a, a JPEG in this case because it's based uh, it's located on the B slides main content layer so let's do an export I'll select the issue folder, folder go in here and select the same folder here for the verticals and Android Mac plus one. And let's do a regular export because I don't want to do a multiple export for this one. Here's my folder being created and if we look at the assets, uh, you can see here we have the JPEG image and we also have the PDF image which is a lot bigger with a higher resolution and uh, it will look better uh, on the device itself. We recommend you to not use this on all the verticals but uh, on all objects because we noticed uh, as this is the first version uh, our uh, reviewer isn't ready really for it yet so it, don't put too many of these inside yet but um, definitely use it for for example text if you feel that the text is not crisp enough just, just um, select the text block that you have here and say that you want to export it as a PDF instead and see uh, how that will actually make the quality of the text change uh, on the device um, I believe uh, that's it about the PDF uh, object type. Oh, of course, uh, I'll just, just a minute here. If I would add, for example, a PDF file, here. I have this uh, PDF file here. This is, as you can see, a PDF file and I select it to be exported as a PDF and it will be exported as a PDF with a higher resolution and you want the plugin won't go in and touch it at all uh, to make the images of high res as I said uh, I believe this is it for this webinar uh, we will uh, soon uh, come out with the release notes for 3.5 and you will get much more information there and we will point you to some articles on how to use these new uh, features that we have and uh, we will also create some videos for you to look at and if you have any quest questions concerning this you can always go to our uh, support forum at support.macplus.com where we will be happy to answer your questions and uh, yeah just let me know if you have any questions there
and I'll answer them as soon as possible, or we will answer them as soon as possible. Okay, um, thank you, and uh, have a good day, everyone.